And today on the 2016-2017 NBA preview, we have the Toronto Raptors. Last year, obviously having a quite successful season, making it deep into the playoffs, but falling short. And the Cleveland Cavaliers obviously showing their Eastern Conference dominance, once again making it to the finals and winning the whole shebang. Looking at the team as it stands right now going in, we still have All-Stars Kyle Lowry and DeMar DeRozan leading the way. Some new players such as Jared Selinger coming over from the Boston Celtics who has recently slimmed down big time. I guess he's been going on the Kyle Lowry Atkins diet or however he got slim because it's working for him. We also have JV looking to step up again into a prominent third role there with the Raptors. A couple of uh, drafts which I was so so about Pascal Siakam is a basically their Bismarck Biombo replacer except he has a bit of an offense and Jacob Potl a lot of people say he has a very low ceiling I'm not a huge fan of the pick some people say a ceiling can be something like a Pau Gasol I certainly hope so using the ninth overall pick and passing on some interesting guys that I thought could have helped them a little bit more um, but essentially bringing back much of the same team hopefully Bruno Caboclo is ready this year probably not um, but I think this team again contends with one of the best records in the Eastern Conference but because of their lack of front court balance in my eyes uh, they're gonna come up short I wouldn't be surprised to see either Boston or Cleveland uh, take them out but they should be a good team make the playoffs and more or less build off last year but I'll say they'll probably come up about even Norman Powell could take a step, but I don't think it's going to be enough. Do you agree with me, or do you not? Do the Raptors actually have a puncher's chance at making the finals, or is Cleveland just too good? My name is Phil Bolo. This is HoopsLounge.com.